Hi, my name is Vicky Chowney and you're watching The Really Mobile Project. Right guys, we've had our first letter in. Uh, Dear Really Mobile Project, shall I buy an N97 Love from Bob? Well, Bob, I can't actually answer that question because I haven't had my hands on the handset, but I know a few men who can. James, James, James. Hmm? So we've had our first letter. Letter? Yes. Uh, it's like a paper-based email. Ah, okay, what does it say? Uh, well, Bob wants to know Bob? if he should buy an N97. Oh, uh, Bob, if you're listening, yes, mate. Um, lovely device. I am absolutely... No, abs no, 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 no. Too what? much. No. What? No, no. What? Vicky, camera, please. Oh. So Vicky's on camera, we've come to the pub and I need to explain to you, Bob, why you shouldn't be buying this N97 because James Watley is the wrongest man in Christendom ever. First of all, this screen, it's terrible. You can't see it in direct sunlight at all. And it's a resistive screen, that means you've got to actually push into it to make the keys be registered. Half the time I'm pressing buttons, they're not being, re being recognised. It's really, really frustrating to use, especially when you want to be quick. Next up, let's talk about the keyboard. I actually do quite like the flip and the spacing of the keys is pretty good too. But look at where they've put them. This space bar, which has got all the attention, actually you get used to after a while. That's really irritating. But this D-pad over here, it's in the wrong place. You can hardly ever use it. And you want to put punctuation in your text? I don't think so, because you'll be doing lots and lots of multiple key presses. Last of all, let's talk about software. Nokia messaging hasn't been included on this, which means you're left with a crappy old S60 email client. That is amazing for a handset that's supposed to be all about messaging in part. It is absolutely abysmal. And when you do put Nokia messaging on there, it won't work and it'll crash loads anyway. Now, it has got some other included software, but generally it's really, really poor. Very, very disappointed indeed. Bob, don't listen to a word that man says. The N97 is a beautiful phone. The keyboard is fantastic. The screen is lovely. Little things like the touch resistive, it's fine. No problem for me whatsoever. But I must stop on the screen. When I travel, I take my E71 and my N95 with me, and people say to me, listen, James, why do you do that? And I say, I can consume more data this way. I have my email on one, and I often have Twitter open on the other one. With this, I have everything on the home screen. I've got Nokia messaging coming in, I installed it, and I've got my email, so I've got my Twitter updates, my Facebook updates, I've got the weather, I've got Reuters, and it's all there, and I haven't even touched the phone yet. Things like this make a massive difference to someone like me who just needs his data immediately. So I've got this open on my desk. I'm typing away, typing away, I can look over, and there's my information, and I haven't even touched it. That for me is the standout feature for this phone. And um, coming from a man who judges phones a lot, I'm very, very impressed. Impressed? You've got to be kidding me. Widgets? Really? You use them all day, do you? Yeah, fantastic. They're great. No, because based, when every time I look down at my N97, you know what it says? It says, network error, could not log on. Or it says, crashed. And you know what happens when I click the widgets? Nothing. It just crashes. Now, I honestly believe that Ben Smith had a different N97 to me. Um, ben Smith had a European one, I had a UK one. Um, I think the slight difference is, honestly, none of my widgets crashed on me at all. I was using Nokia messaging, which wasn't the N97 client, it was the 5800 client. I've got the BBC iPlayer as a widget as well, which yes. didn't come on your version. So all these little things, these small changes that have happened since you had your hands on the first version. Yep. Seriously. No. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. And you know why it's not good enough? Because it's too slow. When I click a widget, I want to go through and see my Facebook messages straight away. I don't want to sit there 30 seconds whilst it refreshes. It's not 30 seconds. This, this is, I can't believe how fast and responsive this N97 is. Seriously. Okay, okay. I, I've got the winner. Can you see this? Can you see what this is? It's a stylus. Hello, 1988. It's a stylus. My okay. God, I can't believe they're still shipping handsets with styluses. You know why they ship a handset with a stylus? Ha. Because the interface is so <laughs> damn fiddly, right. you need a point in order to make it work. No, now the thing is, right, where is that stylus? Where did you just get that from? Out of the box. You took that out of the box. This is Ben's 997. It's not on the phone. He hasn't needed it. Nokia have just put it in there to play safe. You don't need a stylus for this phone. They've just put it in there for people to use if they want to. It's a nice to have, not a must have. You don't even use the stylus, admittedly. Go on. Actually, I did try using the stylus because my fingers can't make half the scroll bars work. And you know why I took it off? Yep. Because when it's dangling on the phone, I knocked it off the table so many times. It's not safe and it's not a good idea. Deary me, really? A stylus? Nokia? What on earth are you playing at? Listen, we could be here arguing all day. Now, I'll give you that they should have shipped this phone with Nokia messaging. They've, I think they've missed a trick there. But you must admit the camera is fantastic on this phone. The camera's good, but for a £500 handset, 
all it does is tick the box. It's not exceptional. At night, it still goes grainy. It's still only dual LED flash. I accept that's probably all you can cram into that space. That is, I mean, this is a long haul phone, right? You're in here for the distance. You're gonna get software updates. You're gonna get a real, you know, give it three months, give it six months. This phone's gonna be kicking it. That's right, this phone is a real investment. Pay 500 pounds now and really, really hope that you get a decent phone sometime before your contract ends. And in all seriousness, who actually pays 500 pounds for a phone? These phones are now available on a 35 to 40 pound contract for free on an 18 month, 24 month contract. If you are on a 35 or a 40 pound a month contract, yeah, you're entitled to four or 500 pounds worth of phone subsidy. Spend that subsidy on something worthwhile. Okay, I admit it, spend your money wisely. But Bob, if you are an experienced Symbian user, this phone is for you. I know that you're gonna try and want to do everything you can with your handset, and the N97 can do that for you. I honestly thought I was gonna be so let down by this, but I was thoroughly impressed. Now, there we do agree though, this phone is only good if you're an absolute Symbian guru, to be perfectly honest. If you've got your apps, you love using them, and you already know your way around the stupid interface, and you know how to answer the silly questions about do you want this access point, do you want that access point. But to be perfectly honest, if you're one of those kind of people, go and get yourself an N86. It's the big brother of the N95. It's much, much more mature. It feels much more premium. And frankly, it's going to be much quicker and more reliable. That's going to be a pleasure to use. This, frankly, the Touch UI is a disgrace. It shouldn't have come out of the factory. You are going to hate using it. And if you're not a Symbian guru, and you just want a nice touchscreen phone... Ricky Cadden, Symbian guru. Go and get yourself... Go and get yourself an iPhone. Because frankly, it might not be as capable, but it's going to be much more of a pleasure to use. Don't get an iPhone. <laughs> well, I wouldn't get an iPhone, I'd get a HTC Magic. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> yeah. I've won this argument already. Ha d d your opinion doesn't matter at all. Why? You know why I've won this argument? Tell, tell, tell me and tell them why, why have you won this argument? I've won this argument because Stephen Fry agrees with me. Then why are you even bothering? No. Don't buy this phone, it's rubbish. If you buy this phone, I'll come round your house and do bad things to you. Can we start again? The next time one of you two makes a mistake, I'm on it. It's a nice phone. I like it, Ben doesn't. But what does Ben know? Come on, really. Anything else? Mm, N97. Woo! Bob, get an N97, trust me. Get an N97, woo.